Hey, good morning. This is Mickey. Day 16. And thanks to those of you that have actually followed all 16 days. Um, and um, welcome to those that are, are just getting here. And I want to talk about contentment today. And when I talk about this, it's not a contentment in, in being content with where you are physically. If you're in a position right now where where you're significantly overweight um, and you're stressed out over all kinds of things and yes you do want to work towards towards that because I think the ultimate goal for me is contentment to be content I personally am actually content there's nothing that I really want. Um, like really want. For the most part, I have what I need. And I think the a lot of people that watch these these videos, they do have what they need. But the I think we're sold a life of want want more, want more, want more, want more. And I'm talking more so in a material um, standpoint. Um, what causes wars? Somebody wants something that they don't have and that somebody else has. What hap Why do you have a situation where um, someone robs a home? The person they're robbing has something that the robber wants it might not even be the actual thing that they're stealing whether it be a television a car a ring or, or whatever that might be because what they might want is to be able they don't have to do any work they can they can steal it and then sell it i don't know but i really think a lot of this comes down to the point where we have been taught that we've got to want more. Like an economy. The, the country's economy. What is that? What is that? Um, it's constantly growing, constantly growing, constantly growing. What is that? Is it necessary to constantly grow, do economic growth? Well, in the debt-based system that we that has been created and we are a part of, yes, it has to have constant growth. But in the real in real life, does it have to have constant growth? What is it that some will drive some people to work so hard, so hard, to get the car, the car of their dreams? Well, why is it the car of your dreams? Why? What is it that that made that such a thing that you desired and you put all this effort into it? I'm going to go back to my days in baseball. When, and, and people that have played sports, the, the thing that got us started was it was fun. And... You know, you do work to, to excel, to be as good as you can be because the game is fun. And as the longer you can play, the more fun you get to have at it. At some point, um, we've started to put pressure on kids. That, you know, the goal is to get to college baseball, but why? Why? First of all, I've never really started to, I've started to think about this. Why is that... Why are sports such a big deal in higher education? What does that really have to do with higher education? You know, the one thing it did do for me is I guess I have a degree from Vanderbilt University because I could swing a baseball bat pretty good. I could throw it pretty good. Um, wasn't great, but I threw it good enough to where somebody thought. That, but, but you know, the the fun was lost. Then it started work. It started to be a grind to work to. Um, try to reach this goal, reach 
maybe to play professionally. Um, obviously, I didn't make it there. But maybe what happens is you started looking at those goals instead of looking at the fun and continue to have the fun to get as good as you can. I may be rambling on this. I may not be making a damn bit of sense. But what I do think, what I'm, I'm positive of this, that what is driving a lot of the shit that we see in society with wars, with crime, with um, anxiety that we're dealing with, pressure that we're feeling, um, is because we've not learned the beauty of contentment. We always want more, more, more. I see um, someone that is early 70s, constantly trying to get more, get the BMW, get the, the, the latest, greatest. Why? What is the drive? What is it? I, why? But it's almost as if they we can't stop in the moment that we're in right now and look at the beauty of of our lives. Look at the beauty of we're constantly pushing. I've got a wonderful wife. I have two fantastic kids. Um, and am I cr creating another anxiety-ridden group couple of kids because of we haven't stopped for now the only thing that you actually have is right now the past is gone the future might not come but what you have is now I think somehow some way we learn to become content and maybe this is at a core at, towards the core of what a lot of the shit is that goes on and in the world um, constantly wanting more and 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 more, more and buying into that you know I'll continue to ask more questions um, I don't expect that I have that there's answers to some of these um, that part of the, the why but maybe just maybe If we, number one, um, if you're causing, uh, the one constant theme has been to not cause harm to others, to intentionally cause harm to others. Well, if you're intentionally causing harm to someone else, well, you're not content with something. You're not content. So, I'll leave you with more questions today than, than well, probably that's what it's always going to be. It's going to be more questions to make us think, well, why do we do this shit? Why? What is the purpose? And um, as individuals start to live now, learn from the past, um, do look a little bit towards the future, but realize the only thing that you have is right now.